Thank you all for joining me and welcome back to Miss Survival. So I've been looking at the map and I want to take try and see if I can get another hostage freed. Uh, now there is another camp over there. We've got that big camp over there. I believe there's a hostage on that one, but we're going to go to this one over here. Now it's in a weird position. Well, I wouldn't say it's in a weird position, but it's not going to be easy. I had to do a little test run just to test it out and whichever direction I come in, the actual sniper can see me, so... Yeah, I've got to work out the strategy, that's for sure. But obviously, it's right up here. That other one is over there. That's where we've got Scott. Uh, so, obviously, we're going to get someone different. <laughs> well, we can't get Scott twice, can we? <laughs> so, we'll head up, up here. We need to go to where the actual oil rig is. Past the, well, past the, um, the petrol station. And then uh, turn right before, just as we can see the oil rig on the left. Um, so yeah, so, but I have come down this way and managed to get round here without being shot at, so we should be okay. There we go. And then it's down here on the right. Now, obviously, I still am... I've got to work out how to do this. It's I can't just go up in the car. I don't think I can. I've not tried that actually. But we're gonna to have to stop. I think about there we'll be fine. Oh, switch that off. Now I've got to find the right angle of attack without being seen. So we're gonna come into the here. I'm gonna go around this way actually. If I can get him from here actually. He will go that way. I'm gonna have to wait for him to sort of move over this way. But will let me shoot with those branches in the way? That's the thing. I believe he's there, isn't he? Oh yes, I got him! First shot! Oh yeah! <laughs> right. Now can I get the rest of them? That is the so we've got that, we took that first. I don't know whether there's any more snipers in there. But I'm sure we'll find out. I might have to use my bow and arrow for the rest of them. Oh, we've got one over there. On for a walk. Nice shot. I don't think there's anyone else there. So, wow. Oh, hold on. I'll just see someone there. Yep. Go. Oh no, there's a mist coming. There's a mist coming. Are you right there, are you? Don't know how many more there is. Dude, we're getting up into that tower. What's that? I might have to get into this tower and just bring it out. I think I've got them all. I think I've actually got them all. Looks like it, doesn't it? Actually, it does look like it. Awesome. Although I do want to go down there and loot the actual... Uh... Yes. Look at this. What we got there? Some grenade fragments. I'll take that. Oh, and who we got here? Kate. Okay, proceed. Hello, Kate. Yes, uh, so close combat trained, gun trained sniper. Okay, so will you take her to camp and join your crew? Yes, most definitely. And we've got a a vest armor thing there. That's awesome. So we're all good. We're actually safe up here. That's uh we should be anyway. What's that? Corn seed sack. I've not seen that before. Corn seed sack. Okay, interesting, interesting. Have a look up here. Right, problem is the mist is coming now, but at least we've actually 
than what we need to and that's rescued Kate and then I'm going to go down and loot all the others so I'm going to get through the, this mist there's no point going down there with all this going on so I might as well just uh, figure it out can't believe we did that yay and we actually did it with the hunting rifle so I'm really pleased now I'm going to load that up actually it didn't take long at all so this one's not too bad can these doors open no they can't so I'm going to get through this mist and then we're going to get some looting done. Hell yeah. And then go back and get uh, Kate to work. Obviously, we're going to get Scott working on the logs. And then we'll get Kate making other stuff. So yeah, I'll be back. Well, I'm not sure what happened. But um, <clears throat> for some reason, I've been having some problems with OBS. And yeah, <laughs> it didn't pick the mic up apart from the first bit where we've got Kate. And obviously, as you can see, I'm just going to narrate and see if I can remember what we did here. <clears throat> so we uh, got through the mist, obviously, and I actually killed some of the actual infected with my sniper rifle, which was fun. And now we're going to go around and loot. I don't think I managed to find all the actual bandits. Obviously, we've got some sugar there. And, yeah. And then I actually <laughs> go and check out. There's not much to loot, to be honest with you. I think there's three, three lockers in the actual thing there. So yeah, and then I'm just going to look around, I don't think I could, did I kill those? Yeah I did, I actually got quite a bit of stuff off him, and yeah, oh yeah, I remember that, we got the actual military uh, component, and then I think I'll go around and check the cars as well, so yeah. So we're just having a look around now to see what else there is. Obviously we've got that um, that caravan there that we can smash up. And as you can see we've got three lockers in here. And we've got two there. That's uh don't know what I did there. Just go into a build menu. And there's one locked. But unfortunately, ah that's why. I was checking to see whether I had my uh, uh, cro uh, crowbar. And I didn't, so I'm going to have to go back and get it. And I don't know what happened to those, but those are hammers that I'm putting across there. <laughs> Not sure what happened to them. But hey-ho. And yeah, so I have to go back and go and get my crib bar, which I do shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to have a look around and see what else we find. Although, so, it's been a productive day, though, because we actually got Kate. So we've only got one more. Um hostage to find and I was just checking there to see if I had my uh, what's that my uh, sledgehammer so I can take this uh, caravan apart which it won't let me on that one or that <laughs> but we do get this one and I believe we get the cars as well so yeah there we go got some scrap we've got loads of those components but we're actually short on the actual scrap metal because we've had to I've had to cook it up for some low quality uh, ingots. There we go, we're getting this car now. But I think there's another one as well. We'll get another battery there. I've got loads of batteries. I need some more engines. And there we go, collecting all that, making sure we pick all. I think we do this car as well. Yeah, we're checking, but I've already done him. <laughs> I just double checking to make sure. Not sure what I'm looking for there. <laughs> and there we go. So, I think I got a feather here for some, somehow. Yeah, I do. It's floating in the air. In the air. In the air. <laughs> and there's a spark plug there that I nearly missed. Uh, I'm not sure what I do next. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm checking to see if anything else can be destroyed and harvested. And then I'm going out to check, because I'm sure I actually killed some bandits outside here, but I can't find them. And I'm just checking the time to see, because obviously I've got to get back and get the crowbar so that we can actually open that locker. Yeah, I'm just looking around to making sure that I've actually not missed anything. There isn't much in this camp. So, yeah. yeah. 
double checking again. I think I've done it about three times. Oh, I'm just. Oh, yeah, and there, look, I missed something. And some scrap metal there. Yeah, no, that's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, I've already checked him. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, I'll start putting stuff into this chair, into this locker. And then I believe I put some in the other one as well. And then I'll head back and get the um, I get the uh, crowbar so I can open that third one. I'll put some more stuff in there. Yeah, I've got that uh, corn seed bag as well. So I'm assuming, oh yeah, I struggle here really badly trying to get those out. Really do struggle. And I do go on about the actual mechanics of how it's okay, but it can be very frustrating at times trying to get stuff out. Obviously, it's still early access, so yeah. I mean, they can change things up and make it a lot better. I think I do give up here in a second. And then I go and head back and get the crowbar. Yeah, I think I do, because I'm struggling like mad. And I think to myself, well, <clears throat> if I can actually get that one at the end, then maybe I can get the other two. And I think that's what I try and do. Yeah, I'm looking at that now, thinking, hmm, if I actually go and get back and get the crowbar and take that one out. I think I actually mentioned that as well. So I'll be off now. I think I actually check these cars now. Uh, I don't think there's anything in this boot. I believe there's some fuel in here. But I haven't got my jerry can. I always forget my jerry can. Oh, actually, I think my jerry can's actually in the truck, in the engine. I keep forgetting that it's in there. So, yeah. And then I'm just uh, having a look, making sure I've not missed any of the bandits. In case they've dropped any or weapons. But I don't find any. Unless they've despawned. I'll pick a random leaf up there. Not that I need them. I've got quite a few leaves. And they're very easy to get hold of anyway. Yeah, I'm still looking for bandits. And I give up. <laughs> <coughs> so now I believe we're heading back to the car now. Yeah, we are. And then we're going to be heading off back home. And there'll be a bit of a cut here. And then we'll be coming back with the crowbar and opening up that locker and then uh yeah <laughs> and then shoving the actual lockers in there to take home with us yeah don't know what i'm looking in there for oh yes yeah, so i'm looking in there to see whether i'd actually put the crow bar in there just in case and i haven't so it wasn't there so it's time to head back and go and get the crowbar that we forgot, which I always forget. And here we are arriving again. We've got the crowbar now. And we're just pulling up. <laughs> Feels weird doing this. I'm used to actually playing it and obviously talking at the same time, the commentary. But actually watching it and then sort of like narrating everything that's going on is just feels a bit weird. And look, the actual everything's respawned all the vehicles and stuff like that which is awesome so now we're going to open this and see what's in here see what surprises await us I'm um, just hovering over the cancel button just in case but we've done a lot of added mist and there's nothing in there so yeah so there's nothing in there after all that but it does make it a bit easier for us to take this out so we can get this out well if we can get it out the door that is <laughs> Come on, there we go. And I don't know if I believe we drop it there and then we try and get these out. Now I do struggle. It's a nightmare. I get very frustrated, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, look at that. It just will not budge. I think I start trying to rotate it at some point. There we go. And it goes all over the place. And then it gets stuck inside the other one. So, it's very fiddly. The mechanic for moving obviously 
like some issues that they could actually fix with it. Same as the actual uh, the hunting rifle, I don't rate it that much. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, it could be better, but it is early access and it's still a brilliant game. So, yeah, it's uh, obviously early access, you expect things like that to happen and it's something they can improve on later. But look, as you can see, I've got it stuck inside the other one. Well, it's just a bit weird. I think I tried to actually get the other one here. I do. Yeah, and there we go. And I got it out. And I still think I struggled with that third one. And there we go. And then, this is kind of stuck. <laughs> it's a one hell of a struggle. Fighting with a locker. Yeah, I don't know why I'm looking up and down there. I think I'm trying to move it up and down. It's well stuck in there, isn't it? It's well stuck in. But I'm determined to get it. Because I need as much storage as I can get. And if I can get three lockers without having to craft them myself, then hey, why not? There we go. Almost there, almost there. I think I need to sit down on that actual deck chair there after all this work. <laughs> oh dear. And there we go. And I got it out. And then I think I actually just take that one straight to the vehicle. I literally just dump him in the vehicle. Don't position him at all. Because I just... It took me so long to actually get him out there. I thought, oh, I've had enough of this. I just want to get home now. <laughs> Go and see Kate. Now we're taking the second one there. Obviously, you can see that. I don't need to tell you that. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just dumping it on there. Realistically, if I drove off with the way I put these on, they would completely fall out. Be all over the road. Probably dented. And look at where I put that. And then I'm just double checking to make sure I've not... Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. The actual, I thought, well, why not? It's respawned, I do need the scrap metal anyway, so I thought I would... Uh... And I got another battery there, so what's that? I think I actually got two batteries, batteries, maybe three, in total from here. It's pretty good. Don't get engines very much, and when I do get engines, they're a bit shit, to be honest with you. I've had to replace, I've had one engine go on me so far. Not quite a lot of stuff off that. Oh, I think I'm looking for the actual... Yeah, there we go. Going for the caravan, the camper there. Oh, and a feather. Need to get loads of those. Gonna have to go uh, and get some chickens. I've I think last time I got, I think uh, a couple of the chickens, I got like eight uh, feathers off the actual chickens. So, uh, I mean, it's three feathers per hunting arrow. So, yeah, so I need to do a few to get as many as I can. Because we've only got one place left to go and get a... Um, oh, yeah, I'm just checking to make sure they're not going to fall off. So, I've only got one... Well, there's more than one more bandit camp that I can take out but there's only one more place where there is an actual hostage that I can actually save and that's that big one where I got the hunting rifle from so I've got to prepare myself for that so yeah because there's actually three snipers on that one and yeah it's, it's not an easy one to take out and with the rifle I struggled with that on that base on that one I have had a test run of it it's not easy uh, yeah, I was just looking here. I feel like that should be a bandit camp there, the way it looks. And that's what I was saying. I wonder if there are bandits there. Although I would have thought I would have got shot at if there was. So, yeah. Usually I would stop there and take that caravan out and those cars. But I just wanted to get home after all that messing about with the lockers. So I had enough. I wanted to get out. So now we're actually going to go home. 
I don't think I'll take the lockers off. I'll do that. I'm going to do that off screen. And I actually, I try, I at least try, to get Kate to do some work. So, yeah. And we are home. And there's Kate waiting for us. She does actually say, she actually speaks to you. She only says hey or hi or something. I think she says hi. Yes. Oh, she said yes. She says, I want to shoot something. So, yeah, she's a, a soldier. Uh, so. So she hasn't got any other tasks that we can give her, like Scott, who can actually do. He's got an actual Pacific, a Pacific task you can give him, uh, which is chopping down trees, of course. But with Kate, there isn't anything, so she can basically do anything. At least that's the, what I think. And now I'm just going to set a house for her. I set a house, a, a room for her. Obviously, I'm going to have to build a, a bed, which I haven't done yet, but I will do. It took me a while to do Scots, and he still sleeps on the floor. So, yeah. <clears throat> She's a bit of a slow walker, that one. Actually, well, Scott glides with his arms outstretched, so yeah. Makes a change to have someone walking normally, I guess. <laughs> uh, not sure what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's weird. I think when I load back into the game, that hammer will show up. But two hammers, that's not bad from one locker. Yeah, I'm just grabbing some stuff to take. I could have just dragged the thing across and sorted it out afterwards. I don't know why I did it this way. But I believe we are coming to the end now here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to start. I'll put the actual... Uh, some of the loot away in certain places where I remember where it goes. What am I looking for here? I think I'm looking for where I put the actual military... Uh, oh yeah, I'm putting them. Look at that, it's full. Got no more room for it. So I could have I could have got another one of those lockers. What I'm gonna have to do is get another locker to put to the side of there and then fill that up as well with those. I will use them up eventually. There we go. And then I think I go looking yeah, we've got two batteries there. And I think I go looking for where the actual military component where I put the military components in it's there. We've got two. So now we've got three of those. Which is awesome. I'm, I think you need those for the generator, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we put some coke in there. We drank all the others because they were going down. They're degrading. Yeah, and I'm just putting... Yeah, I dropped that. <laughs> not enough room for the salt, so I'll take one of these potatoes out. Not sure what to do with those potatoes at the moment. Actually, thinking about it, could you actually just do a baked potato on the actual fire? I never thought of doing that. I might try that. I never thought of that. That might be a, an... I'll have to test that out. Yeah, we're having something to eat now. Mainly to make some... Uh, to give us some actual... Uh, space. I can put that in there, but... <laughs> although I really should be eating the... the chicken, really. Because that's not going to last as long as the actual salted dried meat. So I think I do eat one of these here. Yeah, I do. And then I put one of those out. Still haven't got room for any more. Just looking for space. <clears throat> okay, and I'm still wandering around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just checking here to see if there's anything in here. I don't know why, because if there's anything that's been left. And I think I'm actually looking for something I can give Kate to do. Uh, which I do do, uh, which I will come to in a minute. As you can see, I'm going here to check if there's anything in here. Any planks of wood. And now I'm actually collecting logs that Scott has previously chopped down so that I can get a 
getting me some planks because obviously we're going to utilize Kate it's going to be a big help we can have him cut, chopping down trees we can have her doing nails and planks and I can carry on building and that's like we're full here so I've got a bit of sorting out to do after this we're sorting all the stuff out I'm going to take those two lockers in and place them somewhere now I do have a problem with this I put this on and I do about all of them which is going to be what 2 hours and 39 minutes is that and then I do set her to go but it doesn't work and I don't know why I think maybe I've got a, now that she's at the house I might have to restart the game and then it'll work I'm not sure but she's coming down the stairs and you'll see she doesn't go I'm not sure what the problem is and now I'm going to Scott because I thought that she would go and do that so we're going to assign him with uh, cutting down trees and I don't know why but he's not picking up leaves and I'm not sure why and the reason why I leave the stumps is because I don't want all the trees being chopped down unless uh, I don't want all the stumps going unless I need them out of the way and for some reason that animal trap has only worked <coughs> it's only worked twice I think and it's not worked since and now look she's not doing anything so I'm going back here to try it again okay. and yeah Try it again, and she's just not, she's not interested. She is not interested at all. I think she just wants to kill stuff. She just wants to shoot things. <laughs> as long as it's not me. And it's the infected. <clears throat> and bandits. Maybe she wants to go and have a uh, revenge on the bandits. Well, they're all dead now, but they will respawn. So, yeah, I suppose she could do that. And I try, I keep trying, I do, I keep trying, hoping that she'll go and do it. Oh, see the way she stopped there. It's like, oh, what do you want? Do you need a hand? Yes, I do. I want you to actually do some work for me, but you will not do it. I wonder if you sort of like, maybe they won't do it until the following day after, I don't know. Or maybe, I'll, I'll try it, I'll, what I'll do is when I load back in, I will uh, see if she'll go to it then. And that looks like I'm going to give her a gun now, but I'm not going to give her any ammo, because I'm not sh uh Well, we haven't, I haven't got that much ammo, so yeah. Yes. So I'm going to give her a gun and see what happens with that. Now, I've never given Scott any um, food or water at all. Uh, he's been fine. I'm just saving the game there. And then I'm going to try again after giving him a weapon. Not that that's going to make a difference. And no, she's just not interested at all. <laughs> I think Scott's the best. He's the hard worker. Definitely. Although he does like a bit of, uh, he does like to do a bit of meditation with his, uh, with his arms stretched out, <laughs> gliding across the floor. I believe we're coming to the end here now. We are. Yeah, and I believe I go here and I go and check. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm checking to see. I don't know why I'm checking that because those have been there for ages, so they're obviously dry. But I've just looked, they just looked a bit light, a lighter colour. So I thought, I don't know what I thought, to be honest with you. Now I'm just checking this that we did, and it still says one day left, so I'm not sure how long that's going to take. So obviously we're just going to have to wait and to see what happens. Uh, so yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that moonshine. I'll have to work it out. And now we're actually coming to the end. So I do apologise for the audio. So I've just done it the best way I can. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, subscribe. And click that rusty bell to be informed of future videos. And with that, take care guys. And I will see you in the next video.